So it's Wednesday the 30th of September 2020 and I'm starting on panel two. Now, uh, what, what was it? Last week, actually, it was only last, last Tuesday, um, I drew up all the designs and this was the composition, a composite drawing from four designs which the students have given me. All sorts of yin of the yang and all sorts of delightful black and white related images. Some are quite faint, but it's given me enough inspiration for this panel. And the plan is um, I'm going to use black and white tiles. I'll show you that in a minute. But actually, I was looking at this this morning and I was thinking it could do with a proper redraw, uh, which I'll do on the other side of the board. Uh, basically, the Star of David or Six Pointed Star um, is a great idea. Uh, the student wanted me to use rainbow colours for each point. Um, so a red at the top, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet or indigo or purples. Um, but I've decided to use that Star of David Six Pointed Triangle on another panel probably with a rose design, I'm thinking. But this one, I think, just needs to be just black and white. So I'm going to redraw this so that it can be tidied up because at the moment, if I redrew on here, it'll look so confusing for me that I might make a mistake and I want to make some subtle black and white movements, so to speak. So the plan is I have got... All these different black and white tiles. I've got some unctuous deliciousness of sparkliness. I've got some textured tiles. I've got some decal printed tiles, which my friend uh, Charlotte Clark gave me. I've got textured metro tiles and some textured. Well, it's all about the texture, you know. It's all about the texture. And even the black has got a stripe in it, so it's not plain black. Um, and the nearest plain black is this one, but even that is a metro tile, so it's got a beveled edge for a little bit of, guess what, texture. So I've got some mirror as well, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with all these gorgeousness and see what I can come up with. So the next bit is to redraw and redesign. See you soon. So friends, I have got some teapot lids that I am infilling with my cement base tile adhesive, Bowles Max Flex Fiber. And I'm infilling these lids because these are going to be my yin yang circles in the center of panel two here. So I haven't drawn out everything yet, but I thought I'd just prep this first. Obviously they need to be resting on something. So I've got my little cup here that's perfect to give it a rest. And I've got another one here, so that I'll be going upside down with that. And what I'm now doing is going over the next bit and then applying it smoothly. So it will then be absolutely flush with the teapot lid surface. And I'm using my rubber kidney to apply it like so you see I can't do it with one hand so I'm going to carry on with that see you soon
So it's Friday the 2nd of October 2020 and it's quarter past five of an afternoon. Friday afternoon, a little bit of a brief roundup of what I've done today and yesterday. So basically today I have focused on a little bit of edging tiles using a little bit of sort of metallic kind of mirror-esque-ness and I've cut up a load of crockery, some porcelain tiles there, some black and white ones and I've also used some floor tiles that are a bit textured and a bit delightful and the thing is for me I, I want everything to have the same thickness on this one don't ask me why I just want to do that except for two exceptions which is basically don't know if you can see that teapot lids I've got two teapot lids for the yin and yang symbol so it looks very yin and yang focus thank you it looks very yin and yang but it's also got a little bit of interest there which I think is a little bit of fun for me and I enjoyed doing that in filling with some tile adhesive and popping it on. So the next plan of action is to use some tiles that have a little bit of texture. They are actually white, um, kind of peony kind of pattern. And I'm going to infill in the background there. So that's the next plan of action. And then I'm going to use some black and white. So I've got some black and white uh, decals. And I'm going to use some bits and bobs as well. Some, some of these and some of these and some of these for the background. Some black and whites. And I might even use some other unctuousness like this as well. So that's the plan for Monday, I reckon. Don't think I'll work at the weekend on this. Got other plans. Okay, see you soon. So it's Tuesday the 6th of October 2020 and I've just completed the second panel which is entitled Two Tone uh, which is a bit self-explanatory but it's also a little bit of a nod to Two Tone music which is my favourite, one of my favourite types and genres but I have really enjoyed creating this mosaic. It took me three and a half days to create. Um, I would count about three days in total, actually. I would have finished this yesterday. Um, the background, this edging bit here, um, took me about two hours, 15 to do today and um, I would have done it yesterday but I didn't fancy working until about seven eight o'clock last night so I thought today would be a better day to think things out and you know when you spend some time just stopping and being a little bit mindful a little bit uh, reflective you can then change your mind on things so uh, I'm glad I did stop. Um, I'm pleased with how the teapot lids look. Um, it's also got quite a lot of thick tiles, in fact I would suggest the majority are quite thick. Uh, for example I've got floor tiles here. Um, I've also raised the height of this. I have got some porcelain tile underneath the porcelain um, plates 
um, so that there's a little even distribution and easier to grout. I've also got these decal tiles which my friend Charlotte Clark creates um, and she gave me a whole wadge of tiles recently and I quite like them and I think the teenagers at the school will like them too because they have a little bit of a manga-esque-ness about them. Certainly a hint and a nod to manga and I think they'll like that. I think they'll think that's a bit groovy although I don't think they'll use that word. <laughs> So, yeah, so this is what it looks like now. Um, it's quite heavy, but I'm going to shift it to do the third panel. The third and the fourth panel will be Rangoli design, so it'll be high colour and quite a bit of sparkliness to them, perhaps a little bling. So, yeah, so this is, this is second panel completed. I'll grout it in black. Uh, I reckon, um, or even a grey, that might be nice, and I'll do that uh, when all four panels have completed. See you soon, bye!